Hi and welcome to a new video. Have you received an unable to install error message when trying to download an application from the App Store? In this video, I will show you several solutions to resolve this issue on your iPhone so that you can install the app like usual. Let's go. Installing any application on your device, of course, requires an internet connection. So please make sure that you are connected to a network that is active and stable. If you're on cellular data, see to it that you have enough load for your connectivity. Usually, if you are experiencing glitches or errors with your iPhone, the common solution is to perform a force restart. Keep in mind, though, that the specific combination of keys required to do this may vary depending on the model of iPhone you have. For iPhones with Face ID such as iPhone X, iPhone 11, or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. Another factor that may affect your installation is if you do not have enough space on your device. To check, open Settings, navigate to General and proceed to iPhone Storage. If you notice that you're running out of space, free up some by either offloading or deleting unused apps on your device. Some applications may only be available in select locations, but you can bypass this restriction by changing the registered region in your Apple ID account information. If you want to know how to change this information on your device, click the tag in the upper right corner or see the link in the description below. Aside from location restrictions, most apps have specific hardware requirements that your iPhone model may not meet. To verify an app's hardware limit, head to the App Store and navigate to the page for the particular app you're having trouble with. Scroll down to the Information section and locate the Compatibility Details, which should indicate whether the app works for your iPhone. If so, the next step is to check whether your iOS version meets its software requirement as well. To check, collapse the compatibility panel and review its iOS requirements. Make sure to update your iPhone software version if it doesn't meet the necessary requirements to access the app. If the iOS version installed on your device is outdated, it can affect your device's features. Aside from that, iOS updates usually include regular bug fixes and security patches. So, it's a good idea to keep your iPhone updated. To check for a new iOS version, open Settings on your iPhone. Navigate to General and click on Software Update. If an update is available, tap Download and Install. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Afterwards, your iPhone should restart automatically with the new iOS version installed. Keep in mind that you need enough storage space left and a stable Wi-Fi connection to successfully install an iOS update. Also bear in mind, some older iPhone models are not able to install the latest software updates. To check if your device is compatible, click the tag in the upper right corner. It can also be possible that the root cause of the installation issue is the App Store itself. Force quitting an app is the simplest method in resolving any app glitches without having to restart your entire device. If you're using an iPhone with Face ID, slowly swipe up from the bottom of the home screen. This should bring up the App Switcher where you can see all the apps you've recently used. Find the app that is glitching and swipe up to force quit it. On iPhones with a home button, the process is a bit different. Simply double press the home button and then swipe up just like you do on the latest iPhone models. Afterwards, you should be able to open the app again. Additionally, Apple provides a dedicated web page to monitor each feature's system status. Open your browser and visit apple.com forward slash support forward slash system status. For your easy access, click the tag in the upper right corner. You can also find the link in the description below. 
Among the features listed, look for App Store and see if the status indicates a temporary outage. If it does, read the advisory and simply wait for Apple to restore service. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.